on the boys. What's up? I'm back at it, back at work, back from injury. So, uh, what's it today? Thursday? What we got today? We got a headmaster valve that's messing up in this unit, it's screwing up. It's, it's sticking. It's in here. Um, the original valve, so I'm gonna be replacing this today. Vacuuming out my uh, recovery tank right now. We get the gas out of here. Uh, we're gonna change this valve out. You know, guys, a headmaster. Uh, I'm gonna pull this side off. Um, also mentioned, this is a refrigerated trailer, um, but it's set up, it's got two, two evaps, two low profiles hung inside, which is a regular refrigeration unit. It's not just set up, you know, like these other, you know, like transport trailers. This one is basically here just for storage. You know, it's being used essentially the same thing as a walk-in. So you pull the whole side off of this thing and get right into these headmasters, which is nice. Um, what does kind of stink about this one, there's no, some of them have an isolation valve here. You know, you got one down there in your discharge line, but not here on the side of your receiver. I mean, I still could isolate it this way, I guess, but you're still pulling most of your gas out of your receiver. I like to isolate it there, so you only pull the gas out of your condenser, but this isn't that big of a system, so I'm just gonna pull the gas out of the whole system. Hopefully you can hear me, guys, with all the noise up here, but what I'm gonna do to get most of this gas out of here, it's a little trick. Instead of hooking up my recovery machine, since the whole unit runs, my compressor works and everything, I'm gonna use my unit as the recovery machine. I've got my liquid line hooked up, and I'm gonna use that, open up my receiver and my valve, and put the gas into my recovery tank that way. It won't get all of it out, but it will get most of it. And it'll save a lot of time, because we all know recovery machines take forever, so. If you do it this way, it works a lot quicker. Just a little tip there for you. Here, but see that blasting blast the liquid right into the tank here that'll take care of most of it and it's a lot quicker than a recovery machine. Alright, so we got all the gas out guys, so I'm just gonna <clears throat> explain to you how this head, these headmaster valves work real quick. It's essentially a head pressure control um, if you don't have a fan cycle control or you can use both. But what it does is in normal refrigeration, you got your discharge line coming off your compressor, you go right into your condenser, condenses the liquid. Um, condenses the gas into liquid then it comes up through here into your receiver and that's it now in the winter time when it gets cold this valve is a 185 okay which means it needs to maintain 185 psi of pressure so in the winter when the pressure gets lower than that this senses it there's a sensing bulb this little bulb on here I call it a pigtail um, sort of works like an expansion valve this will start to open up and it will take off of this line, it will take your discharge gas, your hot discharge gas, and mix it in here with your condensed liquid. It will start mixing it and just shoot it directly through the valve into your receiver, maintaining the proper head pressure. Because we all know if you have too low of a head pressure, things won't work right either. Now what this one was doing is, we had a guy here over the weekend, and this unit was running like a full going between like 350 and 400 head pressure and kicking out on high pressure. This valve was sticking. You got it to work again, hitting it with a wrench or whatever, but I know it's gonna stick again, so it's been running like the last day or two, but um, we're gonna change it out anyway. This is the original valve. This unit's got some age on it, I don't know, 12, 15 years or something, so. But that's essentially how they work. It just mixes your hot discharge gas with your liquid to maintain a head pressure and then the winter times are in the cold weather. All right guys, so here's our new valve. This is a spoil in one. Uh, I had to do a couple things. I gotta, gotta put a reducing fitting on this side, add a little piece of half inch to that. Also a little piece in there too as well. Um, gonna straighten it out, get it a little better, but that's it. Um, you probably can't see, but these, these will say D for discharge, R for receiver, and C for your condenser. You want to make sure you put these in the right way and don't mix up the R and the D. Well, these things will be in backwards and they won't work right, but they label them nice for you, so there shouldn't really be any issue on putting them in backwards, but you never know. So I just wanted to mention that too before we stop brazing here. So I got this all set to braze here, guys. I got this wrapped up in the uh, solder weld hot block here to help save this valve. We don't want to burn up the valve. You know, you know, use the old method, the wet rags, whatever, the Viper wet rag stuff works good, just a basic wet rag, or the solder weld hot block stuff works really good too. It's all reusable and everything, so why not? We'll do this, get this thing brazed up. All brazed in, see the stickers are still intact. 
everything. So that uh, solder weld stuff works pretty good. That's it, we got a new dryer in. Arrows always, gotta make sure they're in the right direction. And I'm gonna put this thing on a good vacuum. Now we'll get some gas in it after and fire this up. We're up and running, got our vacuum done. Pulled right down nice, 500 held. Got, a, got it all charged now, 20 pounds. 20 pounds, 404. These are our pressures. I don't know if you can see it well. And our compressor super heat, 28. That's good, you want between 25 and 30 on the compressor. 94 degree temp liquid line leaving the unit. So they were looking good. I'm gonna get this buttoned up. That's pretty much it for this one, boys. This is just the inside. The units are all pretty beat up, but whatever. It's getting nice and cool in here again. We're down 40 degrees right now. Set at 38, so we're getting there. We're looking good, boys. That's about it for now. So appreciate it, guys. Thanks everyone for watching. All right, guys. So that was it for that one. Um, good to be back. Uh, my first week back after being off, I'm um, just giving you an update, I had a back injury, I was out for like six weeks with that, so the doctor said I couldn't work, and I had to go to physical therapy and do all that stuff, so I kind of didn't do any videos obviously, because I haven't been working, so sorry guys, I apologize for that, I appreciate you guys sticking with me, but um, hopefully you guys see what I did that I tried to understand explaining about the headmaster a little off. If you don't just leave me some questions or whatever I'll try to do my best to answer them. Um, they're really really simple once you once you understand how they work and they you know they work really well at what they do so if you guys got any questions just um just ask you know in the comments or whatever and do my best to help you guys out and like I said guys I appreciate all the support again and I know it's been a while so Hopefully we'll be back again injury free with no um, interruptions. I could be posting more for you guys, more on the regular again. So if uh, you're new to the channel, guys, um, consider subscribing if you want. You know, those who've been there, leave the thumbs up if you like. If not, leave a thumbs down, whatever. It all helps the channel out, you know. And um, put the bell notification on too if you want, and you'll get notified right when I post something up. So again, guys, thanks again. Appreciate it all. Catch you boys in the next one.